What's up guys, Antoine here, Culture Matters. Hey, I just wanted to stop by, tell you say what's up. I hope everyone's having an awesome day and rocking it out out there. Uh, what I wanna say today is I wanna elaborate on another company culture value that we have, which is called Trustworthy. The T in culture for us means trustworthy. Trust in yourself so that you can trust in others. Now, this is something that has to do with your inner morality, okay? There's a lot of times that we go through life, we think that people are out to get us, we think that people are against us. You know, there's a feeling of insecurity. There's that feeling of mistrust towards generally other people in the world. So being trustworthy, trust in yourself so that you can trust other and trust in yourself so that you can trust in others. This means that we look to the inside and try to find out why what could be stemming from inside of us that causes us to have trust issues with others. Now, if our employees can't trust the clients, well, that's a big problem for us because trust is the foundational element of building rapport and you must build rapport in order to have a successful working relationship. So if we want our clients to feel the utmost trust from our company, we have to make sure that our employees are culturally aligned with the value of trusting in yourself first. Now, what's a huge takeaway here? Trusting in yourself first. Well, we must look inside and reflect. What are we doing that would cause mistrust within ourselves? Are there commitments that we make to ourselves that we don't follow through with that causes us to not trust in the words that we tell ourselves? This is very, very huge. And this is very introspective. And the objective here is to get inside of your own head and your own feelings so that you can remove blockages to move forward in your life and gain success. So what have we done that is making us feel mistrust within ourselves, to ourselves? What commitments haven't we followed through with? What have we promised to do for ourselves or others that we don't come through with. Now, why is this? Are we lackadaisical? Are we being procrastinators? Procrastination? Are we perhaps only in it for the money? Are we looking at our client as a quota? Are we only interested in this sale because we have to make it? What is our personal endeavor, our personal meat in the game? Now in a lot of sales positions, a lot of agents out there they're focused only on the quota, only on me and that number. So how could they trust in other people when all it is is about a number? Number doesn't elicit trust. Emotions elicit trust. And the understanding of another's perspective and to be able to form agreement with that 
enables trust. So how are my employees going to elicit that air of trust? Well, what they need to do is that they need to know they're in this world and in this company to help. We are helping people all around the globe every day of our lives. Every time we pick up that phone, we are on the line to change someone's life. We are in this for the greater good. We are not calling someone to scam them. There are no minimum quota numbers that you must reach in order to be considered successful in this company. Success is measured on your cultural alignment and your consciousness competency. Because you cannot be confident in anything that you are not competent in. So we must trust in ourselves that we are competent in order to become confident. We must trust in ourselves that we are not in it for the dollar, but we are in it for the purpose of helping others every day achieve their goals. We must form agreement with ourselves that we are of utmost trustworthy person. That my moral compass inside is always directed towards the good and the betterment of another the good and the betterment of our clientele. So the T in culture for us stands for trustworthiness. Trust in yourself so that you can trust in others. Culture matters. I love you guys. Have an awesome day. Rock it.